Pablo, light it up. I heard about the Porsche when I was young. Chat, 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 chat. What's up, sports fans? It's your man D back. Speak your mind, sports talk. Check it out. So, Jose Yepes and IBFP Boxing New, they actually tied on this week's mastermind title concerning Robert Garcia. So, for the love of sports, let's talk about it. He had One. a busy year. Shit that happens. Nigga want me to talk about it. They love gossip. Nigga want me to talk about it. It's all over the gram, so I'ma talk about it. You heard what happened? Nigga want me to talk about it. Shit crazy. Nigga want me to talk about it. You heard what happened? Nigga want me to talk about it. Shit that happens. Nigga want me to talk about it. They love gossip. Nigga want me to talk about it. It's all over the gram, so I'ma talk about it. You heard what happened? Nigga want me to talk about it. Shit crazy. Want me to talk about it? You heard what happened? Niggas want me to talk about it. What happens? Niggas want me to talk about it. Fuck I <clears throat> All right, so um, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, so Jose Yepes and uh, IBFP Boxing New both scored eight points, and um, as usual. We read the comments so what i'm going to do today is i'm just going to read one of their comments of course guys all of this stuff is always going to be there for you guys in the discussions tab all right and so if you guys go look there you can find all of this stuff but i'm going to read off ibfp boxing nukes comment <clears throat> But remember, both of these guys have mastermind titles. So, Boxing News says, Robert Garcia is an elite trainer. He produced a four-division world champion in Mikey Garcia. He turned Jose Ramirez into a unified champion. He is building up an undefeated prospect and Virgil Ortiz that may possibly, <clears throat> that many possibly believe to be the future and possibly another elite athlete. He did what many people uh, at the time considered impossible, beat an undefeated Adrian Broner with Marcos Maidana, who most people gave little chance. He has an eye for unique plans and focuses on a fighter's strength. Robert Garcia is an elite trainer. So, uh, Nuke scored eight points with that, and Jose had a pretty interesting comment as well. And um, you know what? Let's just go ahead and read that. Let's just do that. All right. <clears throat> so Jose said Robert is definitely an elite trainer. He's got an okay subpar boxer and turns him into champions. They overachieve. He made basic Madonna into a champion against a more talented favorite Rona. That's true. He made Brandon Efren Rios into a champ. That's true. He made, he made little... Let's say a little guy, uh, Abner Morris, into a champion. You guys can go read what Jose said in the discussions tab. And he, and um, let's see, Jose is was an underdog, and went into in, into enemy territory. They crossed the street and risked their strap, became unified champs. While the other side, so-called elite champions, scared to cross the street. I.e. Spence. <clears throat> okay, Jose. Jose's taking shots at Spence. Good one, Jose. All right. He made Mikey a four-division champ. He doesn't get the blue chip talents and makes uh and makes the best of it. Okay, so he gets the blue chip talent. He doesn't get the blue chip talents, and he still makes the best of it. Okay, sorry, I stumbled over that. But, yeah, uh, great comment, Jose. Jose also scored eight points. So, great job, you guys. I mean, they were really at the top of their game. And this just goes to show, too, how difficult the competition is it's not easy guys i mean um it's it's hard to try to get 30 points of relevant facts within 150 words or less it really is so if you guys don't think so come join the competition but jose and ibfp boxing new did a great job <clears throat> excuse me um so uh 
so speaking of Robert Garcia, I totally agree with these guys. Um, I'm glad that this is the way it went down. You know, uh, was a couple of people on the live that was saying that, you know, he still had things to do or whatever. But I think most agree that Robert Garcia is definitely one of the elite trainers in the game. Um, you know, there's a lot of, of the Garcia boxing gym. I guess, you know, it's a lot of those guys that probably believe he's the best in the game. Either way you look at it, he's definitely an elite trainer. Uh, Jose and IBFP Boxing Nuke made a lot of good points about guys that he, you know, got to the title, man. He got them all the way there, <clears throat> all the way to that championship belt. And this is the ultimate goal for any fighter is to receive that belt. And uh, Robert Garcia did what it t took to get those guys there. And uh, you have to contribute that. I mean, of course, these guys have their own talent, and you can't say that, you know, he did everything because they still have to get in the gym. They still have to get in the ring, but he gives them the tools to win. He tells them, you know, he gives them the techniques. He tells them what the what this fighter that they're about to uh, compete with, what he's going to do, how he's going to move, what's going to work, how his fighter is going to be able to attack how his fighter is going to be able to defend, you know? Um, so trainers are super important, like any coach uh, in the NFL or NBA or any manager in baseball, you know? Trainers are super important, man. You have to have them. Uh, and, you know, there's a lot of fighters that's talented, but it's evident that they come into the fights with the wrong game plan. Well, that has to do with the trainer, you know. Sometimes the trainer produces the right game plan and the fighter won't execute. That's one thing, but it still has to be the correct game plan, and that has to do with the trainer. So Robert Garcia deserves all the respect. Um, the Jose Ramirez fight was a stamp, in my opinion, um, on us giving him and everybody else giving him the respect of being an elite trainer. Uh, I picked Hooker. <clears throat> and, you know, I have no problem saying I picked that fight wrong. I did pick it a close fight. And I actually said if Hooker allowed Ramirez to get on the inside and do damage, then Ramirez could win. Uh, I just believed that Hooker wouldn't allow him to do that, which uh, Robert Garcia came up with a beautiful game plan. And Hooker just couldn't stop Ramirez. He couldn't stop him. He wasn't prepared for uh, what, what the way Ramirez came at him, and it was a beautiful win. And you can attribute that to Ramirez's talent and Robert Garcia's game plan. So I picked Tucker, and Robert Garcia produced a game plan to prove me and everyone else wrong who picked Tucker, and Ramirez won. And so that's beautiful from the fighter, and that's beautiful from the training aspect. So. Much respect to Robert Garcia, and shout out to Jose Yepes and IBFP Boxing Nuke for taking Mastermind titles in this week. Mastermind, uh, come and join the competition. Have some fun. Uh, we, we are playing for bragging rights, but also, guys, when you win in the championship, gold medal or silver, you're playing for, you know, your cut of the $1,000, $1,000 giveaway. You know what I mean? Um, so we're playing for that. We're also playing for championships where we actually get real prizes. JB, come haul at us because he's yet to select, but we're waiting on that. So, guys, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and that bell next to it so you know when we drop these videos. Then you can get into the competition, win some cash and prizes and bragging rights. Mastermind means you know your sh right so for the love of sports let's talk about it peace yeah, it happens they get want me to talk about it they love gossip they want me to talk about it Whoa. it's all over the gram so i'ma talk about it you heard what happens they get want me to talk about it it's crazy they get want me to talk about it you heard what happens they get want me to talk about it it happens they get want me to